things that, you know, how you can have the pin last, right? Talking about those tendencies. These are going to be different ways that you can help disguise those tendencies. So right here, we start in a bunch formation to the field with a tight end in line. So now this looks like a completely new formation to an opposing team defensive coordinator. Uh, we're going to uh, involve short motion. And one of the things I love to do is start in a bunch, right? You do that to throw off your tendencies. Why? Because it forces people to make uh, bunch checks, right? It forces defenses to communicate. Um, if you have a defense have to think and communicate, you slow them down one-tenth of a second, right? That gives us the advantage from an offensive standpoint. So right here, forcing some type of defensive communication, you see the mic is still in the same alignment. Okay, now that we went from a two-by-two two, to a – or a three-by-one to a two-by-two, two, Mike's in the same, same walked alignment. He didn't adjust. He's bringing his edge pressure from further on out. We're still blocking gap scheme here. Our backside tackle does an unbelievable job seeing that. Gap hinging on down, sticking on the five technique. And now this is cases where we're going to arc the backside defensive end and trap kick the end, okay? And once again, you see it, burst pressure. You may say, Coach, well, man, i just rather throw an RPO tag. We'll get to that a little bit later. All right, great job here by 71 on the backside, right? He's thinking he's got a three technique. They think they're reducing um, back to the mic that's walked out of the box and the second puller's coming around for 48. And all of a sudden that picture changed, but everybody stays gap accountable. And now 71 ends up taking the play side, front side backer. We get the second puller on around, wrapping on through that deal, and we get a nice positive run. Uh, here's another look right here again. Okay, different formation. Just now in a three open formation. Now without a bunch. Okay, same play. Just incorporating a little bit of a short motion. Now we're going to do what we call Iverson at defensive end, and now we're on a trap kick path. All of a sudden now, instead of the kick course, uh, they do a great job of spilling it. All right, and now we're going to log that player, and the second puller is going to read on around. We get the ball down through the hall, and once again, another explosive run, right? Just by incorporating motions, okay, to combat those tendencies that we previously have shown. Same gap scheme run, another great job here, okay, handling movement right here. Okay, so we get a, a top stunt in the boundary right here. All right, the backside tackle or the play side tackle knocks this color on over, and he climbs, right? Simple, easy rules. Uh, that everyone understands how to block. Uh, here's another one, same play, same formation, right? Same short motion. Once again, here's a better look at it, Iverson. Now we want to influence uh, that defensive end, make him think he's going to take on some type of pin and pull. We get great movement. Now the ball's up to the third level. Okay, we've got another explosive run. Uh, once again, just a complimentary type play, okay, uh, built off of motion, right? So um, it's still counter weak, whether we do it pistol or gun. Uh, incorporating short motions now to disguise those tendencies uh, of our formations. Here, okay, you can bring motion from multiple different ways. Once again, starting in a short bunch formation. Okay, now we're going to bring motion from the top from the top eligible receiver. Now, we're in 12 personnel, so we actually have our skill speed there, our Z. Uh, and now we're going to bring fast motion by our second tight end. Force the defense to have to communicate, handle motions on the go, and now, you know, this defense right here, you can tell all week long, they've been worried about fitting up counter, fitting up counter, fitting up counter. Well, how do you combat that with your tendencies? All right, give them a bunch of formation, show them a new formation, new motion, and it's the same type play that you normally have. So once again, you get a good positive run, gain six or seven, right, downhill throwing off those tendencies. So just, you know, combating the tendencies of what they've been working on the most. Now, this is a heck of a job right here, but a place I tackle 76. Talk about hitting the hip of the two eye. That's what we want it to look like. Right. That's creating space. Now, uh, now he's actually wrong. He should work to 27 and the second puller should work to six. Um, but you can see by these guys knowing their rules, right? No one panic. The second puller does a great job reading the center's block. He gets spilled. He logs around. The back's going to stay on the inside hip of the second puller. So they basically just put themselves out of the fit. 